<laughs> what a great hop. What a great hop. I so enjoyed everything. I am filling in. There's been a change in scheduling. Letitia could not make it tonight. Something came up in her life. Those things happen. Those things happen. So the schedule, I did try to put in good links in my description box. I am having a lot of trouble putting in channel links in my description box. It messes it up somehow. I don't know what's happening. But the video links seem to work. So what's in my description box now, except for my channel, my video right here, are video links to all the streams tonight, which means if you click on one of those links, you won't go to the channel level, you'll go to their actual live stream. Cool. Very cool. Let's see who's come in. It's a wonderful, was a wonderful, wonderful hop, don't you think? I think so. I think so. Oops. Oh, there's my sigh. <laughs> I gotta quit that. <sighs> that sighing. Hi, Dawn. Hi, Melissa. Welcome, ladies. Hi, Carol with Spring Cauldron. And Lori, there's Lori, that angel was just darling. Just darling. Hi, Teresa, little sister Spitfire. <laughs> I love that ID. And Lala Gamma and Sherry Van. And every time I look at Sherry Van, I think of that nutcracker that I need to send to her. And there's Aunt Beck. <laughs> Do you still have a cat on your lap, Becky? <laughs> and Sharon Lombard and Angie. Hi, everybody. Welcome, welcome. And Val. Hi, Val. And Susie and Elaine. Hi, Elaine. It was a great hoppy lane. I tell you, these gals, they all thank me, but they do all the work. I just say I Velcro it together. That's my term for putting these hops together. Uh, Shelly says I heard cats, but I love the cats. They're awesome cats. <laughs> I call it Velcroing, Velcroing, Vel, Velcroing, <laughs> Velcroing it all together. You know, just like tonight. Um, Letitia couldn't make it, so we just have to fill in. So, yeah, those things happen. And we, and uh, I think Dawn is in here. Dawn is going to join us on our Sunday night streams. Yay, Dawn! And as long as I'm talking about Sunday night stream, we have a really fun one coming up on January 24th. And we're going to do two JB5 sessions. So that is going to be fun. And you know who's kicking it off? Dawn. <laughs> so, yeah. Uh, <laughs> uh, we've got to get the schedule all together for that. But I am so looking forward to that. Hi, Allie Kay and Holly and Candy. Aunt Beck said the cat's moved on to hiss at coal. <laughs> Boy, that little coal cat has really grown up, hasn't he? Okay, well, I was working on clothespins this morning when I signed off. I put my postcards here. I need to work on these, too, but that's not what we're doing tonight. Let me put some white dots on the back of these, and then we'll move on, and I'll show you where I am on my clothespin bag. Now, you're not going to see this too well. I'm not going to zoom in, but just think white dots here. Um because I'll just have to get up and zoom out once I get out the once I get out the clothespin bag. So retro retro art throwback throwback art. You know what I thought of throwback, and uh, I was thinking, what did I do when I was younger besides draw? You know, I do a, I did a lot of drawing when I was younger, but. Uh, I remember, did you guys ever go to summer camp? Did you guys ever go to summer camp? <laughs> I was so afraid to go to summer camp. I was sure my family would move away while I was gone. Yeah, <laughs> I had one of those childhood fear fears. She's gone. Let's get out of here now. <laughs> I was afraid I'd come back and there wouldn't be anybody, anybody home anymore. 
then I went and I, of course, I loved all the crafts. Uh, I, yeah, I liked the other things too, but even then when I was that young, it was the crafts. Uh, I remember swimming and, uh, but I remember the crafts and we, we had marbles that were crushed and, uh, don't ask me, they must have come crushed in the kits because I don't remember us crushing them. So they were kind of, they were just like clear marbles and they were crushed. They were cracked, I guess would be the proper term for it. And we put bead caps on them and we made bracelets. So I guess that could have gone with both Shelly or Becky, but that would have been a throwback craft for me. And what kind of art did you guys do when you were young? We need a list. I'm not going to sit and do a list, but what kind of throwback crafts did you guys do when you were young? A coloring and all. Oh, when I was, when I was, oh, probably in second or third grade. I'm trying to put the cap on this. Um, let me get Penelope here. You guys can talk to Penelope while I'm putting the cap on this paint. Fine liner here. There we go. Um, I, I, I could have sworn that I would be the happiest girl in the whole wide world if I had some sparkle paints. And I got them for Christmas. Of course, you know, I wanted to paint the whole world sparkle. And uh, all it was, when I look back on it, all it was was some a little ounce of watercolor in a little six um, tray, a tray of little six ounce little ounce that had six little holders, I guess. Is, you know, I had the primary colors and the white and black and, uh, and green. And it was just watercolor with glitter in it. Boy, but I thought that was the neatest thing. Sparkle. I, when, I begged my mom so much for sparkle paints. I want sparkle paints for Christmas. So I remember that when I was younger. And uh, what else do I remember? A coloring... Of course, color color books and sticker books. Do you guys remember sticker books? Like we had sticker books of all the 50 states and they would be like baseball card size stickers. And of course it would have a page on the state, of what the state was all about. And then you put the sticker up in the corner. I remember that. And then I also remember we made these, and this was probably the precursor to art journaling. We made, and I was probably in, fifth or sixth grade when we did this, um, we would bind construction paper with a, with a, uh, a piece of yarn. We would bind it, probably a pamphlet stitch. And then we would cut out, like I remember cutting out cows. And we did all, I can remember I did one that had all the different kinds of cows that I could find in magazine images. So that was probably a precursor to art journaling, and I didn't even know it. Now, when I was really young, a toddler, my mom said that um, I got my start by taking a cube of butter and smearing it all over the refrigerator. Now, that was probably my masterpiece. Let's see what you guys are saying. What kinds of art did you do when you were young? What, what kinds of throwback? Let's see what you're saying. Angie said, Mary, I can't hold my eyes open. So I'm going to go. So sorry. That's okay, Angie. I understand completely being tired. Good night. Good night, Angie. Sweet dreams. Melissa says, my dad bought a cow punch. I still have it. A cow punch? What's a cow punch? Are you talking like a, a brander? Like you would brand leather? Butter on the fridge. <laughs> yeah, you do that all the time. <laughs> I probably do too. I do wipe down the refrigerator though. I do wipe it down. I tend to, when I get my iced tea, not my hot tea, but when I get my iced tea, I tend to hold that glass in this hand. And I've got a little shaky going on on this hand. I, I you know, It's just getting old, I guess. And kind of worries me, but not too much. But I'm holding that tea in this hand and I'm reaching. We got an ice cube maker, but you have to reach in and put ice in the glass. 
and my hand is holding that full glass of tea and I always spill some. So I have to go, <laughs> I guess you can say I tea dye the refrigerator until I wipe it up. Uh, Lala says, I did wood burning when I was a kid and I made candles. Oh really, wood burning and candles. And you made pot holders. Ooh, cool. Yeah, do you remember, um, I think Aunt Beck still does this, those little knit weaver, weavings. You know, um, every now and then I'll see those little knit ties that you, you know, you have a little loom and you put those little stretchy round knit pieces across your loom and then you weave in and out and you can make a pot holder or a coaster or something like that we had those and of course i had to draw drawing and painting is probably what i did the most but i wouldn't say that i was prolific when i was young uh, but i loved it i tried to sew but my sewing skills <laughs> Never developed like Aunt Vex did. My mom tried to teach me. She did teach me how to baste. And I even basted tonight. Um, now, I am thankful for her for doing that. She said you... And, of course, you know, you can pin, too, if you're real experienced and don't run over the, the pin with your needle. But I'm not that experienced. So I always baste because then it's... The pins don't jab me when I'm trying to hand sew and all of that. Allie, can, let's see, Chris, hi Chris, Chuck, a chalkboard that hung on the wall. Oh, you like to draw on the chalkboard? Oh, not a brander, like a hole punch. Oh, cool. How come they called it a cow punch? Aunt Beck said, oh, my start would be crayons on the walls, followed by learning to clean it off. Yeah. <laughs> Becky, we must have been, we must have been channeling each other then because I smeared, I would smear butter on the refrigerator. Aunt Beck, Aunt Beck got her start with crayons on the walls. <laughs> Angie says, Mary, oh yeah, she's saying she's going to bed. Holly says she, she has sti she had sticker books. And you know, we still love our sticker books, don't we? Um, yeah, the, there's that antiquarian one that we, we're all getting off of Amazon. Um, somebody said it was for sale at Target now. <laughs> Allie Kay says, Mary, get a paper and pen. Chewing gum wrapper, Susie, Susie says. Sh sh chewing gum wrapper chains. Did you guys make those? Tanya was making those um, similar to that. She didn't have the chewing gum wrapper, but she cut little pieces of paper when we were doing our Totally Junk Junk Journal. And she would cut those, um, the paper to size of, of, a, of a chewing gum wrapper and fold it. And, and we made a chain that way to put in the Totally Junk Junk Journal. I actually followed along with her on that one. She's into doing, what, one or two more now. Um, I just got my hands in so much, I have to I have to pull it out so I can get some stuff done. Pen Pals. Pen Pals, Aunt Beck. And using those trifold letters. I found some trifold letters when I was sorting out here. Um, they're, they, they, uh, they're just a sheet of paper, maybe maybe eight and a half by five or six, and you it folds, it just tri-folds, but on the back it has these pretty little morning glories on it. And then when you fold it up, you flip it over and you can put your address on the back. I remember I had a pen pal over in, in England, and I was so thrilled when she wrote me back. And then I had a little guy pen pal, and he never wrote me back. I was so disappointed my little guy pen pal never wrote me back. <laughs> oh, well. He probably thought, ooh, she's a girl. <laughs> oh, dear. Those are the days. Melissa says, I saved my sticker books. The scratch and sniff still smell. 
Spiral Graph Alley K says, and Holly says, Sand Art. I don't remember doing Spiral Graph, and I never did Sand Art, but we would go out, and we lived in the, in the country, and we had this long driveway, and it was on a gravel road. Um, I wouldn't say, well, the driveway was sort of graveled, but not not too much, but they kept the road graveled, it's country road. And we would sit out there by the mailbox and build these little wishing wells. And every time I saw a car coming a half a mile away, I'd run to the house. Like it was gonna run over me if I didn't get out of there. <laughs> oh dear. Macrame, Peggy says. Don says, I wanted to be, but I just didn't get to. So I'm making up for it now. Oh, well, good, Don. And we're enjoying it. Aunt Beck says, log cabins out of twigs and mud um, by the creek for my Barbies. Oh, log cabins out of twigs and mud. Deborah Brown says, macrame, batique, and tie-dye. Aunt Beck says, paint by number. See, this is throwback. Paint by number would have been a really fun one to do. Do your own paint by number. That would be fun to do, to design a paint by number. Hmm. I won't do it tonight, but that sounds fun. Allie Kay says, sequence reminds me of the olden days. Chris says, hook a rug. Amy, hi, Amy. I love that journal, Amy. Uh, you must have paid a fortune for that journal. I am so... Ami gave me a journal, and I just know she got it at, at uh, Shannon Green's auction. And I'll tell you, those journals went for big bucks. <laughs> and I'm going to do a JB5. <laughs> but I'm going to be very careful with my JB5 on there. I'm going to be very judicious. But what, you know, what, uh, what better way, what better thing to put in a Shannon Green junk journal. It's her custom keeper. Ami gifted it to me. And I'm just so honored to have it. But what better thing to put in there than JB5 because Shannon Green and that's going to be on January 24th we're going to be doing a, a JB5 session. So that's going to be really fun. What else is going on here? Arlene. Hi Arlene. Are you getting your rest Arlene? Arlene, if you need to go and rest, I want you to. I don't want you to wear yourself out. It's not worth it. Did anyone ever make knotted friendship bracelets? And Arlene says, no, but my daughters did. Um, I remember something with friendship bracelets, but they were made with cloth, I think. And I think we braided them. We braided them, I think. Um, made little braids. A little braided strip. And called it a friendship bracelet. I might have done something like that. Aunt Beck says, yes, and I got stung by the yellow jackets. <laughs> it was awful. Aunt Beck was probably out playing in the mud and spits. Mary, did you send that email regarding the... Oh, you know... I got it. I've got it. It's up there. I will do that, L.A.K. Um, I'll try to get that done. I, I probably won't get it done tonight. I'll try to get that done tomorrow. Tomorrow's my tomorrow's my throwback day. <laughs> I get the rest tomorrow. But I I tore I, I took everything out from behind my chair here, and I'll tell you, it piles up. Well, not right directly behind my chair, but over by my bookcases. I took everything out in the dining room again. And I've got to get that sorted out because I know it bothers my brother to be out there. And But I'm, I'm making room for it because I want all that stuff. I just have to find a place for it. So that's kind of what I'm going to do tomorrow. But I will. Uh, Allie Kay, keep asking me if you don't get it. I'll try to get that sent off to you tomorrow. Allie Kay, bless her heart. She's helping me. Uh, I did that little interactive nutcracker um, about a month ago, and uh, I put a piece up there uh, uh, on my drive, but I it's all hand-drawn, and Allie Kay is, is spiffing it up for me. Bless her heart. 
Holly Dalton saying hello. Aunt Beck said, oh, all right. We're back to where the kitty cat's getting mad at Cole. <laughs> Cole is a little black. Well, he's probably not little anymore. Um, when Cole, when Aunt Beck first got Cole, he was a black kitten. And a little thing. He was so cute. But boy, he was ferocious. He wasn't going to take guff off of those big cats. No way. Allie Kay says, I used to make friendship bracelets with floss. Maybe that's what it was, Allie Kay. I just don't remember. Hi, Lynn. Oh, you guys, I have to send a special, a special thank you to Lynn J. Bless your heart, Lynn. I, um, I attended Keisha Creations auction last week, last Sunday, and I bought lace. I think I bought some of every lace that she showed. <laughs> and I got the I got the order and uh I got the invoice. I haven't got it yet. I haven't been any, I I can't open it yet, but I'll open it when I get it. I'll open it on stream. But in that on that invoice, Lynn, bless her heart, she paid $25 off on my invoice. And I just Lynn, you are just so sweet. I appreciate that so much. I'm going, um, Keisha had marked a $25 discount, and I'm going, wait a minute, what's this? And then she said, Leisha wanted to say Merry Christmas, so, uh, not Lisa, Lynn. So, um, thank you so much, Lynn. You guys are so good to me. I appreciate that so much. Hi, Susan. Hottie Popo. Welcome, welcome. Black. That explains coal <laughs> versus coal. <laughs> Uh, yeah, we got so many different versions of words, don't we? What was the other one? Oh, I was I like to play Scrabble online. I don't know these people that I'm playing with. I don't know. I was telling my brother, um, it's a gaming nap. And I like to play Scrabble. It it challenges me, it challenges my vocabulary. And you guys, you know what? I hit a 60-point word the other night. I was so proud of myself. 60 points. <laughs> and I did it all by myself. I didn't go get help. You know, you can go get help online, um, but with a dictionary and all of that stuff. But no, I figured it out myself. But uh, I don't know these people that I play with. I mean, they could be, they could be grade school. They could be retired. They could be young men or young women or teeny boppers. I don't know who I'm playing with, but I'm sure having fun. And there was one word, what was it? I can't remember, but they played, they played the word, they formed the word, and I formed, right after they formed the word, right beside it, I was able to form a different spelling of the word, meaning, you know, it, it, it sounded the same. It was like coal on coal, but that wasn't the word. Hi, Deborah. Yeah, 60 points is something to brag about. I even took a picture of it. I do like to play those games that challenge my thinking. Um, I'm not so much in, my brother's more for one for liking to work crossword puzzles, but I like to work the little, they've, they've got a, a, a app out there that just gives you mini crossword puzzles. Like it might have five across and five down. And uh, I, I like those, but you know, things like uh, who is the director of, Harry Potter or who played so and so in Harry Potter and who sang this and who what was the song that this you know I don't I don't keep up with all of that so I have to cheat. <laughs> but I do like that because it does I I'm, I'm able to get the easy things like um oh there was one I'll use the example of bat B A T and I was thinking of like a a bat that flies around at Halloween. But they meant bat like a baseball bat. <laughs> so some of the things I, you know, I have to kind of, oh, that's what you mean. <laughs> so I do like to play the games, but I have to regulate my time. You play word cookies and Sudoku. I like Sudoku. I like to work it in the paper. I haven't worked it on the paper a long time. Uh, my brother works the crossword puzzle, and I work the number puzzle. And you know what the funny thing is? is I'm not a number person. I'm rotten at math. 
Well, I'm not rotten at it. I'm just not advanced. I have to write things down and figure things out. Um, figuring it in my head, I can go, kind of go, well, 30 is 10, 10, and 10, you know? <laughs> Melissa is teasing Holly. Holly, did somebody get a 60-point word recently? Maybe it was Mary. <laughs> Holly? What did Holly say? Hi, Anne. You play Scrabble online. Maybe I'm playing against you, Anne. I don't know because I go in as guest and don't ask me what it is. I go in. I don't go in as myself. I go in as guest number, 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 number. Ultra guest number 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 number. There are a lot of different Scrabble games out there, but I do enjoy the Scrabble. And uh, but you know, speaking of the computer games, it would be fun to have an art one. You know, there's some of those games have wonderful art. Some of the artwork is in, you know, but some of those uh, games have wonderful artwork in them. And I thought, yeah. You know, and then I was sitting there the other night thinking, man, I if I could, if I could, I'd go back to school and learn how to code a, a game, you know, and, and do an art game. And I'm not sure a pick 10 would work, but a pick 10 might be fun if you could computerize it and even play it against each other. I don't know. I think of, there's no, uh, you guys, well, there is one that uh, I'm in the creative arts uh, collaboration group, which is headed by, um, oh, ah, Cinnamon Cooney. And uh, she dropped a link to a piece of software. It's not gaming software, but it's a piece of software where several people can work on the same piece of artwork at the same time. And it's all digital. But I would love to do and design an art game and have it be something other than a match and merge thing. Just have something where, oh, like it could go out, like like you could go out and find uh, public domain images and make paper dolls out of them. Something like that, you know, and, and uh, then develop a story around it and do it yourself. Um, of course, you could play it with other people, but, you know, it, it would just be fun to do that. <sighs> Deborah Brown, let's see, let's see, I'm behind here. Let me go down to the bottom. Holly says, Arlene, I can't do Sudoku. That's hubby's game. <laughs> Melissa says, we need a puzzle for the scavenger hunt page. It could be Sudoku or Jigsaw or whatever. Arlene says, I found a Sudoku that was letters instead of numbers. It was really hard for me. My brain just didn't connect with the letter. What do you have to do? Put the letters in, alpha, in alphabetical order like ABC? ABC this way and ABC that way? or Huh, that would be interesting. I've never seen one of those. I have seen those Sudokos where they put them in different shapes, like they'll make round ones and all sorts of shapes. And you have to... I'm just good with the nine patch. <laughs> Keep it basic for me. Let's see. Popo. Popo. We're behind and showed the second tag prompts. I'm not sure what that is, Sue. She's talking to Popo. Loving it, Lynn. All right, so are y'all wanting to see what I'm doing with my, uh, let me move these clothespins because I don't want white dots on my, where am I going to move them to? Let's put it there. I don't want white dots on my clothespin bag yet. All right, so. It took me all afternoon, but I was, you have to understand, I did other things this afternoon, too. Don't ask me what, because <laughs> I don't remember. But this is a blue denim jacket that I got at Goodwill in the children's section. And I would say it was probably, it's probably a fourth or fifth grader wears this jacket. And I make, I'm going to make a clothespin bag out of it. So I started, I started... Uh, I sewed, I'm going to make a scissors holder out of this, but you know what? Uh, this is just 
pinned on here. There are pins there. I can't put my... Here, let me get the pin out here. I found secret pockets in this jacket. I have to show you, but let me get a scissors here and see if this actually goes in there. Yeah, see, it'll hold my scissors. And I'm going to... And, and these pockets here are fake. They're just the flap. I tacked this one down with a with a thread. I, I took some crochet thread and tacked it down because it was pulling up. But yeah, these are scissors holders here. And uh, I was going to use that fabric that I, this, I think this fabric would have been very pretty on this, but I'm afraid I won't have enough because I'm using it on my postcards. So I, I was, while I was cleaning in the dining room <laughs> through my stuff, I found this plaid and this plaid also, uh, almost matches what I'm, my um, Papa Pierre, the base of my Papa Pierre doll. So, what I did, and you have to, I'm slow. I had to figure out, you know, I had to figure out the length, and I wanted the lengths to be equal, and I had to figure out the width, and then I just folded, um, and, and it looks pretty good. The, the, this top part is actually the underside of this, but it looks pretty good. It's just a little lighter, and then I, I stitched it down with a blanket stitch, and then folded the two sides in to kind of make a V. Are you guys seeing it? Yeah, you're seeing it. And uh, then I did basting all around the edges here before I pinned it down. Now I'm getting ready to stitch it on. But you guys, I found secret pockets in here. This is cool. This jacket must have been a young boy's. <laughs> and where he put his homework. Because see, it, has, it actually has, these pockets are real here. These you can reach in and put stuff. I'll, I'm going to put art stuff in it. and But when you turn it this way, I'm going, what's this? I'm going, it's another pocket. It's a secret pocket. Look, it's on the inside. And and, and that is not the same. Well, it is it is the same, but it's not, you know, it's got it's got a secret pocket in there. <laughs> And both of them do. I got man. If I was a kid and had a jacket like this, I would have been, I would have been putting my my money in there, my lunch money. <laughs> so when I stitch this down, I'm stitching it by hand, and I'm not sure if I'm just going to do a whip stitch on this, you know, or a running stitch. I got a basting stitch on here now, um, but not the basting stitch is actually holding. The shape of the fabric together I haven't basted it to I have not basted it to the jacket yet so that's as far as I got this afternoon but I'm really liking it and I was thinking tonight well well while I was getting ready look see I found some buttons here too that I thought would be fun maybe put there's four of them maybe put them on the collar but also I found this that I got from both um, both Keisha and Poet Spice had sales last year. And I thought I'd look through here and see what is interesting in here. Well, that would, that would not go for a young boy, but this is going to be converted for me. Look, there's a key. So I might steampunk this up. I think this probably came from Keisha. I'm not sure. I don't know who what came from who. Uh, but see, I think I'll, I'll, I'll put stuff on here and watching Aunt Beck and, uh, Shelly do their beading really inspired me. Cause like I could do some beading stuff with this is thrift store beads. Only it's not from the thrift store. It's from Keisha and Poet Spies. Look, here's a. Here's some butterfly. I think I got several of these butterflies. And these are are kind of like sequins. Those would be fun on there. I think there's butterflies all around in here, if I remember right. Uh, I think this stuff came from Poet Spice here. Because there's a lot of bling. And there's a, you know... And I was thinking that I could put this on with glossy accent because I'm not going to wash this or anything. I'm going to sew it together and and uh, 
put stuff in it. This is way too big. These would make really fun bead dolls. Like that could be the head. Was that the beaded piece? No, it it looks like it was glued onto whatever it was. So I'm not sure what this would make fun. <laughs> I probably have to glue it onto something. There's no bead bead hole in this. Well, there might be. Let me get a pen here. Maybe the maybe it's right in here. Yeah, it is. I can see it right there. So that might be fun as a part of a bead doll, a bangle. There's several of them. I'm going to see if I can find something in here that would would go on this. There's, this stuff is so fun. Let me tell you. Here's a whole bunch of little beads. I got. I think I bought these. I can't remember if I bought them or if they came with the making bead dolls. Here's some. Here's another one of those. Only it's gold. So that's as far as I got on my clothespin bag. But that's far enough, really. It's a wooden Christmas tree and another one. Hmm. Here's a whole nother bag of larger beads. And Shelly was making little floral, beaded florals. And Aunt Beck tonight made a, um, Aunt Beck made a love, love necklace, love beads. Oh, and this is so cool. I think this, I don't know who, I think where that came from, Jamie or Keisha, but it's a, uh, it opens up. There's a bling in there. That's cool. And it probably had a bead or something on the top. But that's cool. I like that. It's a little. And. Uh, yeah. I think it has. You probably put a wire through there. I think it has a place where you can thread a wire through there. Oh, but I don't see anything other than those butterflies. That's cool. This is, reminds me of something that I could do. Paint. Uh, it's not ceramic. It's plastic, but do dry brush paint on there like Lori did. All right. Now I'm lost in my zone, Laura. I don't know if Jersey's in here. We got the biggest kick out of Jersey. <laughs> I was trying to tell her her time was up, and she was she was uh, putting ink on that plastic canvas, and she was really she was in the zone. <laughs> and Brooke kept telling her, "We got it. Okay, we can go now. Mary's trying to get you to go." Uh, and then she was so embarrassed, and I thought, "No, don't be embarrassed, Laura, because." The, I get in the zone an awful lot, and they yell at me and they shout at me. This is cool. Maybe that's a little little fabric flower. And I'll get into the zone while I'm working. Here's another key. Keys would go good on here. Um, while I'm working, and sometimes I'm really concentrating, and that's when my when I lose my internet connection. And they just give up yelling at me. That might look fun on there. Maybe on the back. Oh, Mary's in the zone now. What's in the bottom here? Another big, another seat. This hasn't even been opened. I don't know if that came from Poet Spice or Jamie, but those are cool. Big beads. I think those probably came from Jamie, because Poet Spice sold her things by the cup. Look at this one. But I'm looking for something I can put on this coat. That's a covered like a coat. A coat, a winter coat. Well, here's an eagle bee, uh, you know, a golden eagle like it's on a military. That one might be fun. Here's a steampunky one. I'm looking for something steampunky. And the, and the little butterfly blings might go on here. 
got a lot of those little butterfly blings. What's this? This is cool. Ooh, I like this. Isn't that cool? It's just a chain, but I love it. See, I like this kind of stuff. Yeah, we'll keep that out. I don't know where I'll put it, but... Oh, let's see what else is in here. A lot of little buttons. Cool button. Cool stool. Here's a shell. And some wooden pieces. Here's another little butterfly. I like the butterflies. I think I got these. They're just little little flat beads. Those are kind of cool. I like those. There's a bigger flower. These these I can just put on with glossy accents. So and I'm just going to use it to um I'm just going to use this to put stuff. I'm gonna hang it off of my so treasure chest with O's on it. I don't know what all the O's mean. Um, I'm just going to put stuff in it, like papers or scissors. Maybe I'll put some sewing stuff in it. Put stuff that in it that uh, that I have over on my computer desk that I need to clean off my computer desk. I think I'm pretty much done. Oh, I thought I saw a butterfly here. Where did that butterfly go? Here he is. He's flying away from me. What's that? It's a little, a little red crab or a lobster. Oh, I think it's a ladybug. Or it could be a jingle bell. <laughs> well, this wasn't what... I also have a whole bunch of stuff I got at Hobby Lobby on sale. Maybe I'll get those out. I like to, I see I like to do this. I love going through like this and seeing what's here. And I can, I can look at these one day and come back the next day and it's all new to me again. Here's another gold button. I like those gold buttons with the eagle on them. Let's see what else. So there's some more butterflies. I'm pulling out all the butterflies that I can find. I thought I saw another one down here. here. There's probably more in here that I'm missing. There's two more. They tend to want to fall to the bottom. There's another one of those little... Or is that the same one? Those are cool. Little crochet flowers. There's another little gold button. Excuse me while I explore my my treasure chest here, my Davy Jones locker. That's cool. Ooh, here's a light blue butterfly. Oh, here's some more. They're mostly pink and maroon, but that one was blue. That's a button. You might get my head in here while I'm looking. Sorry about that if I do. Not sure what that is. Oh, it's a butterfly with a kind of a sting pump gear on it. And is that another butterfly? It is. I'm, are there going to be butterflies on this jacket? Here's one. I think I pretty much have them all. Oh, oh, he's getting away from me. You see one there? He's a different type of one. It's a flower. Do you guys have a button box? Do you like doing this? I love just hunting through. Hunting for 
specific things. You just keep pushing it aside until you until you find them all. It's like a treasure hunt. Another one. All right. I've got to give up this pretty soon. There's probably some more down in there that I'm not seeing, but shall I keep these out too? I think I will. All right, let's put these back. That was fun. And look, I got all these that I haven't gone through yet. These, I think, are mostly, the sack has a hole in it. I think these are mostly just flat back bling. I think those came from Poet Spice. Not sure where this one came from. It's cool. It's a chain. It's a it's beaded and it's got a ribbon through there. And it's got a chain wrapped around the the beads. Not a ribbon, it's beads. Coral. But boy, that's a little neck. That's a little neck. That would choke me for sure. And it probably it it's probably even oh I bet it's a bracelet. It almost has to be a bracelet. So that could be an awful big neck. That's a bracelet. <laughs> That's not a necklace, Mary. You're choking the juice out of us. And these are pretty because they're all kind of a brass, uh, copper, and pearl. These are awfully pretty. I'm not going to take them out because they'll fall all over the place. Let's put these back in here. And I think there's some Christmas trees. So I'm going to keep this out. I think that would be cool on there. And I'm deciding about these. These are kind of like hammered metal medallions things. I'm not sure. And what else is cool here? The big key. <laughs> Blue buttons. And just a minute, and I'll come out to chat. Let me put these away here. What I'll probably do is arrange these butterflies. I'm thinking on the back or maybe around the collar here. Do I have two of those? Yeah, I do. Here's the other one. These are cool. These might look nice on the... This might look nice there. Let me put this down here before I spill it. And I'm just going to glue it on with glossy accent. But I've got to be careful gluing because that glue can soak through. So I'll probably have to put something on the underneath. Let me come and chat. I feel like I've been in my zone. <laughs> my Laura zone. My Jersey zone. I get into the zone. Let's go down to the bottom. Sue says, nice beads to play with. Yes. I got um, Poet Spice, whose name is Jamie. She had a D-stash sale. I think she's going to have another one or has had it. Um, and she had one just about the same time that uh, Keisha did. Not Keisha when I bought all the lace, but Keisha from a couple months ago. And they were both selling these beads and Keisha was selling a cup for a, a dollar or a cup of, of beads and buttons for a dollar, dollar fifty, I think it was. And so I bought 10 cups of them. <laughs> she said, you can have as many as you want. And I'm going, yay, give me 10 cups. <laughs> and then I bought a big old sack of beads and bling and stuff from Jamie. And I bought it about the same time. So I filled my, I filled my treasure chest. Let's see. Becky's had to say good night. They're trying to switch their body clocks because Scott has to work in the morning. So I won't be streaming tomorrow morning and I won't be streaming Sunday morning, but Tanya McGuire will stream Sunday afternoon. I'm going to try. I'm going to try to set my own schedule, my own body clock next week and make more of the streams. I've been missing out. I miss Becky's stream. I've been missing Dee Dee's stream. I missed Tanya's stream last week. It just seems like I, I, I just I can't stretch myself in 20 places and 
that disappoints me. So, but, uh, yeah, I want to watch more streams. Arlene says, I have button mason jars. Yeah, I have some black buttons. They're all black, and I put them in this mason jar. It's up behind me. Let's see. Buttons in the mason jar. That's cool. We haven't seen the hair clip in a while. It's about time. Here. There you go. I had to get a new one. I got, This one is more of a tannish gold one. I broke the other one. I tend to break them every... See, I broke the tooth off of this one. You know what I'll do is I'll take it out of my hair. My hair is fairly long. My hair is almost down to my waist. I want to get it cut. That I don't want to, I don't want to get it cut while the, um, while the COVID is on. So I'm just, I cut it, I cut it online once. I just did what they call the unicorn cut, where you comb it all in front of your head and you cut off the ends. And I figured it'll all grow. It might be ragged, but it'll all grow back. And when I finally do get it cut, she can just trim it off even. But uh, I tend to take this out of my hair and use it as comb. And when I put my hair up on top of my head, I do like, I call it a granny bun. I'll take an all, it's long. It's probably, when I take and twist it, it's probably about a foot and a half long. <laughs> and I just twist it like in, like in a, a French roll type thing. And then I just make a bun out of it. Put this on my head, uh, over it, on my head. But when I comb my hair out, I'll take that bun off the top of my head and then I'll use the teeth as a comb. <laughs> so I tend to break them just by opening them, closing them, and playing with them. But here's the hair clip. Isn't that fun? <laughs> oh, we came to see Mary's hair clip tonight. All right, what else is going on here? Sherry Van said goodnight to Lisa. Lisa had to go. Allie Kay says, I like your miscellaneous bead button charm box. It looks fun to dig through. It is. It's fun just to get in there and see what's in there. For, for the most part, though, these aren't things I collected, you know, here and there. These are things that I purchased from Jamie and from Keisha. So I don't know. I, and I don't remember. Some things I'll remember. You know, like if I was hunting through that and I found these or that key, I'll remember some things. But for the most part, it isn't anything that I remember a lot of. So it's fun for me to look. A compact. Is that what that was? A compact. That would make an amazing window bobble. Hmm. Chris Chuck says, I have to go to work. Thank you for a great chat. Aw, thank you for joining us, Chris. She's probably long gone, but, or is, is that a she? I think it's a she. It's either a she or he. Does anybody know Chris Shuck? I, I would, would think that that's, you can't hit the, I, I, Chris is new to me. So I don't know if that's the male Chris or the female Chris. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Sue said, that's cool. Holly says, I like doing cryptograms. That's where you decipher the message. Those are, That's cool if you can do those. They stump me. I like logic puzzles, but cryptograms I get stumped on. So let's look at these butterflies. I think I might just kind of put glossy accents and just kind of dress them around my, let's do, let's do it like this. One in that corner. What's this? What's under here? Nothing. It's just... See what I have here. I like these metal buttons. Those are cool. So, it's kind of hard. I think some of these are pink and some are gold. And it's kind of hard to tell in this light. I feel like there's something under here. I guess it's just the... I'm just going to see what I have here. How many do I have? That's just a gear. I have quite a few. See, if I put five. Let's 
and five over here. Now this buttons up. And this, I'm thinking this is a boy's jacket. I think it's a young man's jacket. I got it on the boys section where all the little boys clothing was sell, sold all right so i'm not paying too much attention to the color these tend to be darker and these tend to be go uh lighter so maybe i'll take do this uh So I got gold, pink, I think that's gold, pink, gold, gold, pink, gold. Do I have a darker pink? What's this one? Yeah. One, two, three, four, five. And then I've got some blue and white ones here. This is sort of a whitish. And this one's sort of a whitish. But do I really want them there? I don't think I do. So I think I'll put them there. And I think I'll put these here. So these are fake. But now if I use this for art, put the scissors here. And then inside I'll tuck papers and something in those secret pockets. I love that there's some secret pockets. So I think what I'll do, now what I have left here are these. I, this, this I think is, look, it's got little feet on it. I don't think, well, it might have been a necklace because it's got little, it's got a little holes, it's got little holes in there. But I'm not sure I want to, I guess it would a thread would go through there. That's kind of cool in a way. What else? And then I have this big medallion. And this looks like it broke. There's a broken piece there. I'm not sure how I maybe just glue it on. But just kind of glitz this thing up. And then this, I'm not sure about this. I love this. This is cool. Um, when I put it on a hanger, I could just wrap this around the hanger. I'm not sure I want to put it on the jacket. And I have this key. And I have that big fat key. I've got some other little metal keys. This one looks like it came out of a scrapbooking package. Because it's got a little black design in there. And there's these, I think, they were selling these at uh, Michael's. Not so long ago, a couple years ago, they were selling these big keys. They were real popular. And then I got these, though, too. Instead of these, maybe these would look better. Yeah, I think I like that better. And then these sleeves are going to go on the back, so I'll fool with that. I think I'm going to put these on. Let's... Uh, let me get some, ouch, those pins stuck me. Let me get a piece of paper or something to put on the underneath, so maybe waxed paper. And I'll hold the phone here. I'm running over something here. Napkins that, that need to go in my... <laughs> I was thinking I could tuck my stray napkins down there before I'm making a napkin journal. But you know how far I got with that. It's, it's still in the works. So the, all of this is going to go over here. I was going to get some wax paper. Yeah. Reach, reach. Wax. I found wax paper as cleaning too. This is, this is Dollar General wax paper. And of course it's they have to they have to glue it down. Come on. Got that kind of a rubber cement on it. Come on. Up here. 
your first layer or so is sticking to the I, I don't care. I like the Reynolds wax paper the best. This is more of a, this is more of an opaque. It's not as waxy. It's more opaque. I like the Reynolds wax paper. It's, it's more like wax paper. This will do. I just want to keep it from. All right, let's take all of these and... I got a hefty bag here. Let's put these in a hefty bag. I'm getting so I keep these right here on my carts because I get so much stuff out. But all right, let's put these all back in here before I knock them all off on the floor. These are things I might use, and I'll have to do up the back too. And I was thinking I'd put some lace, some lace. I don't know. We'll see. I put too much on it, make it look too gaudy. I do like this. I think I'm going to wrap this around the hanger. I like that a lot. This just looks steampunky to me in a way. A steampunky, but also jewelry type. I like that. And put all this in there. I'll put the buttons in there so I don't lose those. Is that all of them, Mary? I think I'll put my jingle bells in there too. Let's get them off of my desk. Is that everything? Oh, one more. All right. Uh, so let me put that behind me. All right, I'm going to. I'm going to glue these down, and then I will, I will, uh, work on something else. Maybe more clothespins. I could put some of those beads on clothespins. That would be fun. Work on a couple clothespins. Keep it, keep it retro for a while. Ouch. I, I'm not going to sew on this tonight. I have to... When I sew on it, I have to sew on it. Um, probably should put some under there, too. I have to sew on it so I get it up to my nose to sew. <laughs> Let's get another piece out here. Ouch. keep sticking myself with those pins. I shut probably baste those scissor pockets on there and then I wouldn't stick myself so much. Okay, now let's get a thin piece or a slender piece. And tear that in half. And fold this up and put it underneath of the collar. Ouch! I keep sticking myself with these pins. It hurts. Maybe put something over that while I'm working. <laughs> that hurts. Let's get a... Let's just take this. Come out and put over that. Oh, that's much better. <laughs> now, I want the glossy accent. Glossy accent. And I'm just going to glossy accent these on here. And I'm going to leave the tail for now. I kind of like tails, but one has a tail and one doesn't. So I might clip this, I guess. Let me clip it. If they both had tails, I'd leave the tails. I like the tails. Oh, and Barb Owen, her... Hubby, Clausman, I guess was out walking the dog, walking with the dog and fell and ended up in the hospital. So Barb wasn't able to stream today, but let's send Barb some good thoughts. I know you all have been. 
I know you guys have been. You guys are the best. Now, I'm hoping that this won't uh, soak in too much. I know with fabric, it tends to want to soak in. And I'm just going to have to not mess with it. I tend to want to mess with stuff. Once Becky said, Mary, just leave it. <laughs> and every time I'm doing this and I start messing with it, I hear Becky say, Mary, just leave it. Let it dry like this here. Get off of my hand there. So now I was doing, I was alternating these. Let's, let's do these first. I was alternating them. Let's push that pocket up, paper up a little. And there's paper underneath this. So I got, I think this is gold and pink and gold. With this lighting, it's hard for me to tell. And I'm just going to glue these on. I think you can use hot glue, but my hot glue gun is something I'm going to have to find a permanent home for so I can get at it. I uh, Becky, bless her heart, gifted me a hot glue gun. And I still have my mini one, but the, the one that I had, which isn't half as nice as the one Becky sent me, um, was still nice, though. I sent it to Azure. And I put Becky's in a special place, and I don't know where that special place is. It's here, Becky, somewhere. I think it's over on my cart that I have that lace tablecloth on. I'm hoping that this is going to do the trick. I think it will. Because this is not meant to be worn. This is meant to be hung up. I can't wait to get this one done. Now, I like bags that hang. Because I put stuff in them. But I need, to, I need to put special stuff in here. That stuff like these scissors. and, But not these scissors. I'll put scissors in there. But maybe papers. Now, let's see. Let's see if I can't fold this. Try fold it. There. And let's put that one up in here. And there's paper, paper under there. Maybe I should pull it up a little. Yeah. And so... This, I'm just, I'm going to put it, some in the center here, but I'm going to put it on here. Now, this kind of reminds me of something that might have been worn in the 1990s, maybe, um, as far as decorating up a, a denim jacket. Um, but the clothespin bag itself is retro. Now, let's see, i got gold. Oh, did I put this one on upside down? <laughs> There's always has to be one hanging upside down. Better make sure the others are right side up. Heads up, ladies. Yep. Uh, clothespin bags remind me more of 1950s. Maybe 1950s art. Uh, when they didn't have a lot of indoor clothes dryers, hung things out on the line. Now this, I can't put quite close up as close, so. And this feels, but it's just, it's the way the fabric is folding here. But yeah, this reminds me, maybe late 80s, 1990s, you would see ladies wearing decorated denim wear. Very cool. And I was thinking, I don't, I was thinking maybe I'd get, ask my brother if he had a clean one. Uh, a bandana would look cool with this, a red bandana. 
maybe also wrapped around the hanger. It would maybe tucked in, but if I put stuff in there, I don't want a bandana, so we'll see. And it'd be neat to have some bling around the collar, but I'm going to do this first. And we'll let this dry. I'll let it dry overnight. I have several projects going. I want to... Oops, I got... I want to find a special container to put my Happy Mail in. I want to start organizing that Happy Mail and get it sent out. That is one of my to-dos. But I haven't... I, I had that on my list when... <laughs> Whenever I did that Society of Idea Collector, Los Labels, it was to get my Happy Mail out, and it's still over there. And all these butterflies are flying up, I think. These one, these I think are a little bit closer together because of this. Now one more. I'm gonna put. I'm gonna put this one over here. Oh, I like it. Put it right in here. And this isn't anything. Like I said, this is not gonna be worn. So if it sticks reasonable, I'm happy. It isn't anything that's going to be washed and worn and all of that. Now, I'm going to take this cutting mat and slip on the underneath here so that I can move it without disturbing them too much. But And I got the pockets on here. Let's, let's put my glossy accent away here. And then I'll move out. I kind of liking how this is taking shape. It'll be a nice, it'll be a nice piece of fabric art to hang in my room. Can you guys see the pockets? Yeah, you can kind of see the pockets. And and like I said, I'm gonna put scissors in here. Now it'd be neat to have a tape measure. I'll bet I have a tape measure. Put around a tape measure around the collar and maybe the cuffs. Tape measure is a yard. Cuffs will go on the back, but it'd be cool to put tape measure around the car here. Yeah, that's what I'm going to do. I'll have to hunt out a tape measure. <laughs> well, I got that fabric tape measure. It's blue, too. So, yeah. i take my scissors out. So, but what I really like about this is it got these secret pockets. Oh, what's in here? Oh, that's the pen. That was the pen sticking through here. It's got secret pockets. All right, I better quit messing with this or I'm going to mess it up. So let's move on, Mary. Let me take this and just put it over across the room so that it won't, so it'll dry overnight. I have to stand up and walk over there. So bear with me a minute here. You're staring at an empty dish. I apologize. My poor brother, I keep I keep encroach encroaching on his face. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you want to move out and give me the whole house. <laughs> I told him I don't think I can take care of this house by myself. We've talked about what would happen if he'd pass away. If some you know, he's He's, what, 72, going on 73? He could go at any time. I'm I'm surprised he's still breathing the way he smokes. He smokes quite a bit. He got, got into the habit when he was young. He never gave up the habit. And I'm surprised that he's still breathing. But he is. I think that... Oh, see, in here, I found this. When I was doing that um, fabric book... That hanky book, that hanky journal. See, this is one of the hankies that or it's, was a craft. It was just all yucky. I've washed it, but it was still torn. And I thought this might be pretty if I could fold it up and 
I was thinking about putting it in the pocket, but those are fake pockets, but this is pretty. So I might, I might make a flower or something, a fabric flower. We'll see out of that. I'm going to just put that stuff. I should put it in that same. What did I, oh, what did I do with the, ha! <laughs> I don't know what I did with that, that bag of stuff that I had, the bag of beads. Did I put it down below? I might have. Let me reach. Uh, no. Oh, it's on the floor. Here, I'm going to put that stuff in there so that I'll have it all together. So, if I want to reach for something to finish that, I'll, I'll have this. Fun, fun, fun. So what you guys chattering about out there? Let me look. What's happening in chat? Holly says, my mom had her pins in a cloth holder with a hanger. Oh, yeah. That's what, that's what inspired me, Holly. See, this one, let me get it out. I showed it, I showed it earlier today. This is a clothes pin bag. It's a little girl's dress. And they converted it into a clothespin bag. See, there's the hang. I put the butt. I put the clothespins on there. But it it was made as this has been hanging in the back porch. Our laundry is in the back porch. Our washer and dryer. And this is nothing I had. This was my brother's significant others. And I don't know if it belonged to her mother or if she used it. I don't think she used it because they don't have a clothesline. So I think it probably belonged to her mother. And it looks like it was made. It was made. I don't know if that was a... It looks like it was made to be a clothespin bag. And it's cute because it's got little seam binding on the sleeves. I love the seam binding. It was very well made. But when I was thinking about rectal crafts, I'm going, I don't know what I'm going to do. And I was out there doing my laundry and I go, oh, a clothespin bag. I never use it. But yeah. And I, for that jacket, I'm going to get a hanger and hang it, hang that little jacket on a hanger. And then it will hang someplace in here. And I'll put, I'll put art stuff in it. But this, this little clothespin bag was the end for all that. Let's see what else is going on out there. Arlene said, this old place can't accommodate a dryer, so I have to hang my clothes out. But I learned a long time ago to use old peg style pins. Yeah. the I like those too. They look like little dolls. They're, they're pegs. They're, they're round with a peg head. <laughs> I like those too, Arlene. I'm drinking tea from, gosh, I think I had that left over from, well, I didn't have supper tonight. I went out, I was getting hungry because I didn't eat since breakfast. I had a bagel at breakfast. I'm, I didn't eat any dinner. And uh, my brother was going to cook salmon, but for some reason or another, he didn't get it done. And I was busy in here and watching streams, and he probably thought that I didn't want any supper. <laughs> so we didn't have any supper tonight, and I was getting hungry. Who was streaming? Was it Shelly, or who was before Shelly? Uh, I don't remember, but I had to uh, I had to go pop some popcorn. It wasn't Jersey. <laughs> I love Jersey. She's so cool. She just, you know, she she doesn't think that she's that cool of an artist, but she does some really fun stuff, doesn't she? We love her. We love our jersey. Uh, Allie Kay says, My grandmother kept her clothespins in an empty ice cream bucket. And she had that thing practically full. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Did your grandmother uh, live on a farm, or was she in town, or? Arlene says, Holly, I have a bucket that my daughter caught when we were fishing. 
to alter it on my long list of craft to-dos. How cool. I keep my clothespins in that little bucket. Aww. All right. The last butterfly was upside down. I think I caught that last butterfly, didn't I? I think they're all right. Let me go check. Let me make sure all my butterflies are flying right side up. I don't know. I think one of them was upside down and I caught it. I don't know which side she meant was upside down. No, they're all right side up now. I think she was talking about the one that I found. Did I find it? They're all up. They're all right side up now. Their little their little wings are on the bottom. Their big wings are on the top. I think she found it before I did. Okay, what else is going on out here? Don't stick yourself with those pins, Arlene says. Journey had to go to, to bed. Allie K, not sure if the rules are the same for jackets, though. Allie K says, which way does it button? On the button shirts, men's and women's style. Yeah, that's true, Allie K. Um, I don't remember which is which, but I learned early in life that a man's shirt buttoned a different way than a woman's shirt did. But I never can keep track whether, I, whether I'm wearing one of my brother's shirts or whether I'm wearing, of course, with mine, I buy them at the craft store, I mean, at the thrift store now, and most of them are pullover tops, knit tees and stuff like that. But that is true. A boy's, I think the boy's button's buttoned from the, I think the flap is from the right and the buttons are on the bottom. And on a girl's, the button's on the, this is my right hand. The buttons are on the back and the button's that way, but it could be opposite. One button's like this and the other one button's like that. Allie K is right. I'd have to go look in a catalog or something. Becky had to say good night. She and Scott are are training their bodies to wake up so that Scott can get to work in the morning. And I'm going, Becky, just tell him you have to come watch Mary. All right, I'm back to the bead button box here and where Chris had to go back to work. So I'm all caught up with chat. A man's buttons, buttons to the left. Which means, yeah, I think I had that right. The flap goes to the left. The flap, the right hand is, the button is on the, on the bottom. And it comes through and the flap goes to the left like that. And a woman's goes like that. Did I have it wrong? I can't keep it straight. I have to look at a man's shirt and a woman's blouse. Keep reminding me. Lala said she made those in the 70s with the bling on the denim tops. Holly says, when I was first married, I did clotheslines until they got left out in the rain, dust, and snow. I said, no more. And Arlene says, this old place can't accommodate a dryer. Okay, I'm back to that. So, the other thing I was going to do tonight was decorate some more clothespins. And what did I say? I was going to put some of that bling on them, but I don't know. Maybe, maybe I'll just finish these. These are dry there. These are dry there. Let's finish. I know you guys can't see too much but I'm not quite I'm not going to zoom in just to do these you you know what dots look like they're just dots on a clothespin a blue clothespin and I've got three of them here and we'll just put dots on all sides now um decorating clothespins those great big ones was 
a big thing to do a couple years ago in the scrapbooking community. You could buy these big, huge clothespins, big, fat clothespins, and they'd paint them up and decorate them. And they'd use them as clips in their, their scrapbooking stash. And I did catch where Beth Schuler told me to paint the wire part gold. And I might, after this is all dry, go back and do that. Because I thought that was a pretty cool idea. Because there's a wire clip here, the pinch part of it. And I'll probably go back to do that. And I need to go back and watch Beth. I got sidetracked. Uh, Letitia was emailing me. Messaging me. And what else? Uh, oh, I was trying to fix those links. Where's the other one? Where did it run off to? Oh, come on. Here it is. Um, trying to fix the links. I don't know what's going on with the links in my... Maybe they never worked and I thought they did. Um, but they don't work in my description. The big long links do not work in my description box. And they do not work on my... They do not work on my... Uh, well, I, I think I got them now finally to work on my community tab, I hope. So what I did was, as, as you guys streamed, as they streamed, I went and pulled the short link to the video. And that's what I hope is in here now. And I think they're working now, but I won't guarantee it. So if you find a broken link, I really apologize. It's not my fault. It's YouTube's fault. It's either they changed something on my phone or they changed something in YouTube. It could be either one. So I'm going to veer off of the retro and we're going to do some glue booking. What I want to do here, you know how I made that crinkly paper on uh, for that journal cover, which I want to work on too. I'm going to do that on this glue book. We're going to... We're going to rip up some of that brown paper with these clothespins up here. I like these clothespins. Clothespins are kind of cool. They're kind of cool. I might do some more before we leave tonight. This one's kind of wobbly, though. Let me... You guys do not have to worry about the candle. I put it away for the year. That last one lasted me a long time. Ooh. And I still have the one that... Um, Deborah Brown sent me too. So I'm going to make a crinkle brown paper. If I can find my crinkly brown paper. Uh oh. What did I do with that now? Oh lordy. Larry, what do you do with stuff? I don't know what I did with it. So maybe instead of crinkly brown paper, I'll wrap it, I'll tear up some. Hmm. I have some over here. Let me get up. I have some tissue paper. What did I do with that tissue paper? I was cleaning. That's the problem. When you clean, you can't find a thing. You can't find a thing. I have some tissue paper here someplace. Some pattern paper. Here. Maybe I'll use this. I hope I have enough. I think I do. But I think probably if I do that, I should probably paint the, so, because this will tend to, yeah, we better paint it first. So I'm going to, I'm going to alter the cover here for my glue book. And we're going to do some cover on it. I don't know if I'll get it done enough to actually do any glue booking in it. So, shall I just paint it with this blue that I have out? I was painting those. I better pull my sleeves up again. And let me get a towel. I had to go get clean paper towels tonight. A clean roll, because I don't know what I did with the other roll. It's here someplace. It's here someplace. What's this? Oh, that's an envelope. See, I was thinking it might be fun to put um, an envelope, a fabric envelope on the on that on that someplace too. But I don't know if I'll have room for it. 
on that uh, clothespin bag. That was that's what I was talking about. Let's let's get this thread off. I want it. So tomorrow my goal is to clean the dining room. Get that as clean as I can for my my poor brother. <laughs> he doesn't complain that I need to. I need to get that. I don't like to leave all that stuff out there. All right, where's the wax paper? I just had it in my hands. Roll up my sleeves again. So what kind of arts are you guys doing this week? Blue booking? Um, I think Aunt Beck, what did she say she was making? Besides those beads, what was she doing? I can't remember. And Lisa is always working on journals. I'd like to get carving again and I need to finish those postcards. Here I am playing, playing with Blue Book January because I got to do it. I got to do it, you know. I got inspired by that Shelly Crafty Mama lady. All right. This says hello, but we're going to paint over it. And we'll probably glue book on the front of it somehow. This paint, I'm going to need more than one coat. This paint is still pretty thin stuff. How thin that is. Did I shake that up? It seems to me like it should be thicker. Let me give it a shake. It's pretty juicy. I don't know why. I think they changed the formulation. Um... I like cream cheese, and I like to buy that Philadelphia cream cheese. And the last cream cheese I bought was, I thought, what'd they do? Take whipped cream cheese and <laughs> and put it in a bar package? Because it was just so soft, and it wasn't gooey. It was just soft. It was like it was whipped, only it was in a bar form. And I, don't, I didn't care for it that way. I like my cheese a little bit more firm. And uh, when we went grocery shopping last week, because we only go once a month, I got another package of cream cheese. And I was putting it in the refrigerator, and I looked at it, and because I get the original stuff, but I looked at the package of what I've already had in there, and it's the low fat. And it's much... Uh, their low-fat cream cheese has more of a, I want to say a whipped, but it's in bar form. You know, it's in brick form, but it feels like it's almost the whipped stuff. Um, it's as soft and spreadable as, it's very spreadable. And <laughs> I'm going, now, what got me off on that story was this thin paint. What I want to say is this is not, <laughs> this is not low fat paint <laughs> that I know of <laughs> but it's very thin it doesn't have a lot you, you know look I can still see Joanna peeking through there but I suppose if I put that pattern paper over it I'm going to have to give her another coat if I put that pattern paper over this it's going to cover this up for the most part, but so a lot of you are working on scavenger hunt journals. I'm doing the glue book January. I'm going to do a map page for the scavenger hunt. There, are, I'll, I'll probably pull a few of the prompts out that I like. You know what would be fun to do? What, are there a hundred prompts? I, I I copied her list down. She's got quite a few prompts. You know it would be fun to do a pick ten off of them. Just number them. Oh, I think they're numbered already. Just put a random number generator. 
and uh, do a page based off on those prompts. And of course, you some of the prompts like a tea bag, you could run and get a tea bag. Some of them you would probably have a hard time. You'd probably have to draw it like the lipstick. Lipstick, you'd probably have to draw that on your page or smear like a, um, a gelato or something like that. Smear a lipstick across some lips or something. That would be fun to do with a pick 10. I might try that. So that way I can, even though I don't do an entire journal, I can still have fun with the prompts. That comes from Janet Young. What are you guys chatting about out there while I'm talking? Pink Girlie says she's doing too many things to list. Yeah. Sue says, I'm doing the January caboodle and the number 52 tags. Do I got to see? I missed out completely. Is that what Aunt Becca's doing? I think I caught where she was talking. Somebody was talking about the 52 tags. So then I missed out. I've been so preoccupied lately <laughs> that I've, I've missed out on a lot. Now I've got a lot of my brush. I'm going to get out my I'm going to get out my Crackalackin' journal and clean my brush off in my Crackalackin' journal here. It's just right down here. What's this? Oh, some leather. Didn't get put in the package. I got some leather pieces on the floor here. Ah, it's all going to fall. Come on. I tend to stack things up good. Hold it. I think my leather package opened on me. All right, hold it. Hold it. And I'm so disappointed. I bought two of those plastic drawers and the one I paid a lot of money for. You know, I thought, oh, it's nice and sturdy. Yeah, it's all warped. It's all warped. You, it, it, you know, I don't like those plastic drawer things. They're sitting over in the corner, and I notice that they're they're starting to warp toward the floor. <laughs> the drawers are starting to open. Let me find a page to smear this on. Do, 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 do this one. Yeah, one of these. Let's start a new page here. I'm just going to smear my brush here. You don't want to waste your 80 cent paint. Aunt Bex said you don't want to waste 80 cent paint. I remember her saying that. I got such a chuckle out of it. Some of that paint, you buy artist quality paint, you're paying $20 a tube for a six ounce. I'm going, good grief. You better be a professional artist if you're paying that kind of money to paint with. There we go. That's good. Now we'll just put that over here and let it dry. And I'm going hit to hit, get the one out here because we want to put some of that pattern paper on here. Yeah. <sighs> My chair, ah, silly chair. Penelope, I'm gonna move you because if I don't, I'm afraid you're gonna you're gonna take a leap over the cliff. And let's put my paint away. I have Happy Mail to open, but I'm gonna wait till Sunday night. I'm gonna wait till Sunday night. All right. I'm gonna dry this. Oh. Heat gun alert. Rosemary, 
Rosemary's in here. Hi, Rosemary. She said she's just cutting material tonight. Oh, are you on, Rosemary? She says, hello, ladies. And they say, hi, Rosemary. And they say, you can't put much in those plastics. No, you can't, Rhonda. The, and I got erasers. Well, in the bottom, when the one that I thought was sturdy, I just have some laces on the bottom drawer. I don't know what I have in the second and third drawer, but my the smaller one, the smaller one, which is kind of, the drawers are probably maybe two feet by a foot and a half by nine inches deep, nine inches tall. Um, I have erasers and stuff in it that probably is a little bit too heavy for those things. I'm gonna take them out. I'm gonna move them upstairs. I just as soon have a shelf over in that corner. I'm gonna get another shelf and put over in that corner. We had a shelf over there and I moved it out of there. Then I'm gonna put another shelf in there. You can get those industrial shelves, the black ones. That'll give my brother something to do. <laughs> he put all those shelves behind me together for me. And I really appreciated that. But I've got to, I've got to clean up around here a little bit more. I'm getting there. But I'm taking it all upstairs. <laughs> But if I'm not using it, if it just sits there, it's in my way, and I might as well take it upstairs, and then if I want it, it's upstairs. And you get too crowded around you, too much junk around you, and that's what this all is, it's art stuff. But you get too much around you, and it starts to smother you. So... I worked on it some today. I'll work on it this weekend. I'm planning on working on it tomorrow. The winter time is a good time to do this because I don't have to go out and mow the lawn or water the flowers or, you know, that so I can be inside. Now this doesn't have to be completely dry because I'm going to, I'm going to glue over this. And then I'll paint it again. I guess I really didn't need to put a base coat on there, but it doesn't hurt it. Alrighty. That's pretty good. I see a few shiny spots. Alright. Let's look at chat before I move on. What are you guys chattering about? Retro art. Mary, what do you think? <laughs> Hi, Del. Del Lobo says, Hi, Mary and everyone. I'm watching on my TV, so I can't chat, but I wanted to say hi. Welcome, welcome, Del. Pink Girly says, Does Torn want something to do? Rosemary, I don't know if she's still here. She was here a few minutes ago. She said, Uh... Rosemary says, I'm, I'm cutting material tonight. They're saying hello to Rosemary. Crafty Kitty is here. Hi, Crafty. Welcome, welcome. Sue so says, I'm doing a January caboodle and the 50, number 52 tags. I need to work in, uh-oh. What happened here? Am I... I don't know what happened there. Um, I probably bumped it wrong. Um, I want to work in my sketchbook. And I want to work on my white owl. But I don't know if I'll get all that done tonight. My white owl. I need to get done so I can take and have it printed off with my squirrel. I was looking. Here's my white owl. 
and I was looking at the picture and I like mine but as I look at the picture it has a wider head in here a wider just white area in there and I don't know if I want to do that or not I like mine I'm afraid if I make this too much wider it will look weird so I think I'll leave it but I want to get that done so I can get it to the get prints made of it and get them mailed out and then I have to do an animal for January all right so we're gonna put pattern paper on here let's let's get the glue pot out let's see what time is it it's 10 50 here I'm not gonna stay online all night tonight I'm pretty I I get I get tired <laughs> I, I didn't to stream Thursday because I was tired. So um, I get I have energy spurts where I can go for 10 or 12 hours. Well, actually, uh, well, I got up at... I still got up early this morning, but uh, not as early as I usually do because we stream this morning. I came up... I was here to stream, but um, when I get up at 4 o'clock in the morning and go till... 10 or 12 at night that's a pretty full day and that's starting to wear this old body out is that the blue it doesn't matter because it's going to go on a blue it's going to go on blue anyway but all right we're going to tear i'm going to tear this pattern tissue paper and put on here and i hope i have enough i got quite a bit Let's start with, eh, I surely have enough. This is already kind of smished down. Probably got it wet or gluey. And let's just wrinkle her up. Now Becky was saying if you, if you wrinkle this up and wet it, and then let it dry. Let the wrinkles dry. Fold it, pull it out and let the wrinkles dry. It holds the wrinkles better. But I don't have that kind of patience when I'm doing this stuff. If I did that, I would have to prep it. So this will probably all smooth out as I'm gluing it down. I'm going to move you guys. You're getting, you're, you're on top of the wastebasket again. And this is just my glue book. I just want to I, I want something other than a magazine for the cover. I'm going to throw that away. This was... This was had got something on it anyway. Probably, probably glue. I was using it for something. So I, I'll probably do this and then call it a day. I got lots that needs to be done, but another day. I've already been on longer than you guys. <laughs> they only get a half an hour. Mary gets as much time as she wants. That's because I stay up late. I get my energy in spurts. I get my energy in spurts. Sometimes I can go go and go and go and go and other times well, I'm gone out <laughs> I'm, I'm tired and this last week kind of wore me out anyway the whole uh, I think our whole country is worn out I think the whole the the uh, whole news and all of that stuff has really and the COVID, the virus thing going around and all the riots this summer and people having to deal with family members that aren't well. And it just, it wears you out if you don't get your rest. And if you, you know, you, you need some, you need some downtime. You need some happy in your life. You need some happy in your life. Try to find some happiness somewhere. Even if it's just doing art journaling. Alright, I'm gonna I'm gonna glue this stuff down. 
and my brush will probably still have a little bit of blue paint on it, but I don't care. It isn't going to matter that much. And I do have wax paper under this from painting it. But as I put this down, I think that it's going to uh, smooth out some of these wrinkles. Which is really kind of okay in a way. Now I'll crease it. I creased the one on my other journal. It's over there. I still have to... Uh, uh, I'm not happy, entirely happy with the binding. The binding on that other one needs to be um, taped down a little or glued down a little bit more on the spine. Uh, I'm not completely happy with it yet. Now this is going to get painted again. Black. Shall I do this one with black and gold too? I should probably prep one for February. Are we going to do blue books every month of the year? I like the idea of doing... I like the idea of using the magazines for them. I really do like that idea. It uses up all those magazines. That, a lot of the home decorating magazines... Now, the Magnolia isn't so bad because it has some interesting articles in it but some of those home decorating magazines like all they have are kitchens and beautiful homes that i'll never have so you know i like to look at them but then i'm done with them because they're not even good well some of them are good fussy cuts but so they they'll make nice blue books like for this now this is a magnolia magazine my holiday art journal, which I should probably prep some pages in there. I want to get that finished. Um, was a farmhouse magazine called Farmhouse. And it's about the size of this Magnolia magazine. And of course, you know, I don't have that one done yet. Christmas came and went and left me high and dry trying to catch up with the world. Oh, and another thing I want to announce, other than um, we have a we have our fourth Sunday live stream where we're going to do the JB fives, but we also have a fourth Saturday video hop, and the theme of that hop that it's going to be standalone video, so you can watch it at your leisure. It's not a live stream hop, and but the theme is. Um, The theme is choose an art style. Choose an art style for January. And I'm starting to get videos in. I'm not sure if we're going to have as many people. They might surprise me. Um, I just say if you want to participate, they join my messenger group. I'm going to move the messenger group to Facebook. Right now it's a messenger group. And if you want to join... The only way I know that you're joining the hop is that you get me a link by the 16th, I believe, of January. Now, if I don't get a link by the deadline or haven't heard some sort of a communication from you, then I know that you're not in the hop, even though you're a part of the group. It, the hop is op optional every month. Um, it's a nice group, though. We got like 25 people in there. For a video hop group, that's a nice, a nice, a nice sized group, but that doesn't mean that they're all going to submit links every month. So, I've gotten, I've gotten some, some links have come in. I need to do my own. I already know what I'm going to do, but I'm not going to tell you. <laughs> I got to get it done though. It'll just be a. It'll be a tape, and I try to keep those links between be those videos between ten and ten minutes and thirty minutes, depending on what you're doing. Sometimes it takes a little bit longer. Uh, even doing a ten-minute video, you tend to 
want to speed things up. Whereas we do live streams, there's no way that I can speed up a live stream. <laughs> Talk real fast and squeaky. Ooh, this is going to be cool. This is going to be cool, I think. I'm, I'm starting to like how this is crinkling up. I think I like this better than, what did that, oh, that brown paper. The tissue tends, the tissue paper tends to want to crinkle more, I think. It holds the creases better. This pattern tissue paper seems to me like, I'm going to pull this one up though. I don't like how that's folding there. If it's going to fold, let's do it on the side here. And put it right in there. Pull it down a little. Yeah, this seems to hold the creases and the crinkles better than that paper did, but it's a tissue. It's not a, that other was paper. This is a tissue. This is pattern tissue. And I'm just talking here in my own in my own world. I had to make sure I was still going live over there. <laughs> I was like Jersey tonight. We got the biggest kick out of her. She was she was busy uh, spray painting that plastic canvas. And she was really in the zone. She was in the zone. And sometimes I, I got a big kick out of it because I frequently get into the zone. And that's usually when when I lose my data connection. All right, I'm liking this. It's got a lot of crinkles in it, but see, the, this, this has got a second layer, but when I paint it, it'll be all one value. It'll be one, all one color, so this variation where it's thicker here won't show so much and even this has got what 10 McCall's 10 on it 10 skirt size 10 it says McCall's 10 and who was it was it uh, yeah it was Kat, with Kathy Berg was showing a sewing I don't know if she was doing that she wasn't doing it today when did I watch Kathy Berg? Tuesday morning? She was sewing, and I, when uh, when I went to Goodwill to get those little pieces for my clothespin bag, I was looking in their books. The Goodwill, uh, where I'm at, they, they changed management. And they did away with the cool stuff. They just, you know, they have cool stuff, but it's not... It's all like clothing and figurines. Um, no artsy stuff. I asked the clerk, I said, guys don't do the artsy stuff. And she says, well, she says, they come and buy it before you get to it. <laughs> and she was saying because they do so much at home stuff now that they're not getting as much of that artsy stuff in donation. So I guess that's probably why. But I used to love to go to that particular Goodwill store because they always had something that interests. But even their book section, I was looking for, and I have one probably if I go upstairs and look, um, a sewing book like what Kathy was showing. And I think she's going to alter it. I'm not sure, but I thought, how cool. Let me tear some more of this pattern paper. So all I walked out with from that goodwill from my was those three pieces that I showed you earlier this morning to do my clothespin bag with. And usually when I go to goodwill, I come home with a or thrifting. I come home with a bag full. <laughs> I don't need a bag full. My brother says you don't need it. All right. I do like how this pattern tissue is holding the crinkles. I like it. Oh yeah, I'm going to paint it yet tonight. But this will probably be the last thing I work on. I should work on my postcards, but I'm just tired. All that hopping tired me out today. <laughs> I still have some popcorn out there by my recliner that needs to be eaten. 
I'm getting hungry again. That's what I had for supper tonight. Popcorn. I didn't eat. I had a bagel for breakfast. And that's all I had to eat all day. Bagel and I made some coffee. Oh, I've got some tea here. I've got some squirt. Let me get a drink of squirt. Mmm. That tastes good. So it's been cold here. Somebody said they're getting uh, snow and ice on one of the streams. I don't know where they were because I wasn't. I try to follow, but sometimes I, I get sidetracked. Somebody said they're getting snow and ice, so I don't know if they're close to where we live or not. But it's winter, and I tend to, I tend to do more stuff in the house. Uh, because in the summertime, I'm out there playing with my plants or mowing the lawn, sitting on the front porch. I like to do my front porch sit sitting. Come on. Let's tear this off. Yep. So this is the weather where you want to stay inside and read a book, do your art journaling. Um, I'd love to paint the kitchen, but I don't think that's going to happen. I don't think my brother will go along with that. I'd love to paint it. A, I'd love to decorate it in a French country style. I'd love to in French country, not bright yellow, but a mustard yellow. And and blues and whites, and do a French country kitchen. It's got these built-in cabinets that I a pantry. It's a built-in pantry. It's probably the house was probably built in the late 30s, the early 40s, and it's got this wonderful big wooden built-in pantry, not with sliding doors, but it's really kind of cool. And I could see that. I could see that being a French country pantry. He did ask me, though, he said, if you paint it, what color would you paint it? And I told him a mustard, a, a, well, not a, not a, more of a yellow mustard. Our dining room is a, a light yellow, a, a light, kind of a pale white yellow, just a real pale yellow. And I was telling him if you did that, if you put it that, it would blend in with the dining room. And I think he kind of bought that idea. But then we got to talking about how much it would cost if we had somebody do it. I think I could paint paint it myself. Becky did, I could. <laughs> um, but the rugs, the rugs need to be, the floor, the kitchen rug needs. The kitchen has a rug in it. It was whoever remodeled this house thought it was cool to put. It's kind of an indoor-outdoor rug. It's not a, a rug like you'd find in your dining rooms. But still, I'd love to find somebody to tear that rug out and put in tiling. It'd be much easier to keep clean. And we got to talking how much it would cost to do that. And then we kind of dropped the whole subject. <laughs> yeah. That was the end of that. It's always about the money. It's always about the money. But I'm still dreaming about it. But I don't think... We've talked often about what what I would do if he, if he passes away. And I tell him I don't think I could take care of this house by myself. It's, you know, if the... Of course, I could get somebody to help me, but then that always takes extra money, too. And I could do the yard work by myself, I, but the older I get, I probably couldn't. But, uh, you know, if something goes wrong with the furnace. He had to put in a new furnace. Well, not last year, the year before, I think he put in a new furnace. The roof leaks, or, of course... 
you know, it would I wouldn't be doing that work myself anyway, but still you'd have to find somebody to do it for you. Even the hot water heater and stuff like that. I can clean the rug. <laughs> it isn't that. It's like All right, I think I'm pretty happy with how this tissue went down, and I still have a lot left. So I think I'm going to give it a dry and paint it. And I think I'm going to paint it black to match my other journals. I'm just folding up this tissue. And so let's put my glue away. And you know what? I don't think I'd want to live here by myself. I have to have somebody around me. I'm not somebody who can... I, I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm a quiet person, but I still like to have people around me. I don't think I could live here by myself day in and day out. I think that'd be horrible. At least with my brother. You know, I say good morning to him, and and he cooks dinner and supper, and... And, uh, you know, he watches his TV and I, <laughs> I go to the library for him and stuff like that. Just living stuff, just brother, sister stuff. And, uh, uh, you know, as much as I think social media is good, I don't think I could, I'd, I'd have to be around people. I, and, uh, this is a little town I'd probably move to another little town nearby that has a a senior center and I could go to the library. I have to drive at least eight miles to go to the library. Have to drive to do our shopping. I don't really have friends around here. Skin and bone friends. So I would probably move. I just tell them not to die. <laughs> We talk about it, and I end up saying, don't die. Don't die. That's the solution. Just don't die. He goes, well, I've got to die sometime. And, he's, and then I say, well, I might go before you do. Then what are you going to do? That's how our conversation goes. And then we quit talking about it. But I'm all prepared. If I, If something happens to me, the only thing that they have to worry about is my art stuff. And, and I've, I've already paid for my own cost of funeral and all of that. That's all taken care of. But yeah. And he knows it. And I tell him, I might go before you do. I could be driving down the road and a semi-truck could veer off center and slam into me. And oh, talking about that. Yeah, I'm just talking to you guys that are entertained here. We went shopping the other day, and as we go out south of town, we have to cross a railroad track. And there was a train coming. And boy, he must have been going, I'll bet he was going 170 miles an hour. He was not, he was going entirely too fast for a train to be, of course they had the the, ra the train gates down and the, you know, the, it was, the lights were working and everything, but boy that train was traveling. I mean, he was going fast. And that makes me wonder, is there a speed limit for trains? Don't they have to slow down when they go through a town? I'm going to look that up. He was traveling, and we were watching him go by. And I said, "Boy, if that thing flew off of the flew off of the tracks going that fast, I said we would just be goners." He said, "You wouldn't even feel it. It it was going so fast, it would just completely smashed us to smithereens." But I think they have to. I think there's a a law that they have to slow down when they go to the town. I know they have to blow the whistle. I hear the whistle blowing all the time, but he was traveling. Man, that guy was... I'm going, 
I wonder who's driving that train. <laughs> Starting to dry here. This is really turning out nice. I like the pattern paper a lot better. So I'm gonna be I'm gonna be picking up some more pattern tissue when I go to the thrift store next time. You can get them at our store, you can get them for 25 cents a piece, the patterns. That doesn't mean it'll always be that way, but I do like this pattern tissue. And I look for the the vintage patterns with the long dresses, the long skirts. You know, in the 1970s, it was kind of the style to wear those long dresses. I wore a lot of them when I was in college. We'd make them ourselves. I went to a lot of weddings back then. I was always making a long dress for some wedding. <laughs> and But what I like about those patterns is they have a lot of tissue. The skirt, you know, the length of the skirt, the length of the dress, it has a lot of tissue in it. If you do a blouse or a, you know, a, a child's outfit, it doesn't have as much pattern paper in it. Sorry with the heat gun stuff. It, this is, I'm streaming on my phone, so there's no way this is going to mute. This is really cool. I'm really liking it. All right, I think it's dry enough that I can paint it. It's, it'll have to dry overnight. But it's it's dry enough that I can paint it, and then I'll I'll cut the I'll cut the. It looks like this is kind of stuck down anyway. Let's put it like this. I don't think it matters much. But I'll have to cut all that off. All right, I'm going to paint it black, and we'll just we'll call that the last thing to do tonight. For those of you who are falling asleep at the wheel there, let's see. Oh, I got lots to do. I have it all stacked up here. Oh, I think Becky was also doing, I caught a little of her stream. Wasn't she going through a, a box of stuff, of miscellaneous stuff? I think she was. And I had... I was going to take it upstairs, but when I was sorting out, I brought it back in here. I have this box that I painted, oh, a few months ago. And I started, I'm getting off track here, but I just started throwing, so here's some lavender. I was going to make a sachet. It has a little smell to it. This is off my lavender plant. But see, I was thinking about making a, a junk journal. I have all sorts of stuff that I just can't throw away. So this was something else I kind of had. See, look at that. Isn't that cool? This would make a nice... These would make good inserts, and these are just offcuts. I remember Becky talking about offcuts. And uh, I got some Tim Holtz stuff. Here's a priority bubble wrap priority mail bubble wrap black paper and this is part of a dirty dozen thing I think just make a nice little mini journal junk journal I should probably put some of this these could go in my glue book let's save these out those could go in my glue book. What else is in here? I got a lot of, uh, I was doing some die cutting. Let's get down to that. I was doing die cutting of keys. Let's get my, hold it, let's use this. I, I did, I have a whole bunch of keys, die cut keys. 
I have all, all of this. And I was thinking how fun it would be to do a journal. Look at that. I've got all of those. I can't throw that away. That could almost be that could almost be the journal itself. And then I could do stuff around those. Let it show through. I don't know. What else is in here? See, I need to I need to just clean this stuff out. Here's I oh this came from that mystery journal that Tanya and Lisa did. This is the circle I cut out of it. Another tape package. Here's some Penelope's. Some more key die cut stuff. Here's some wallpaper. So this would make a fun, here's a little, I think this came off of a cross stitch ambit calendar and here's a tag that I made out of a berry tea box, wild berry tea box. And this I was playing with uh, one of those, what they call those, accordion style? Uh, what do they call those? But, of course, I didn't have it folded straight. I was just working out how to do it. I just folded that by hand. I didn't measure. This I'm going to save out. These are cool. I'm going to save that one out. <sighs> Here's an envelope from Molly, I think. New it. And so here's a, and I saved this as a fine liner package that I thought would be cool to take the label out of it and put, make a transparent page. Here's a little Tim Holtz doll, little teapot, and oh, I guess that's a, a fussy cut of a vase. Just stuff. It needs to be used. And I think what it needs, I think if I take these die cuts and put some papers behind them, such as this, that would be cool. And do it both ways, maybe. Like that. Uh, not these papers, but similar to this idea. And so it would look through like that. And like that, and then I could put stuff around it. I don't know. I'm gonna put this stuff back here. And I, uh, if I want it, I'll come get it. So I pulled this. I had it. I was gonna take it upstairs. I'm gonna take this box upstairs because I wasn't using anything out of it. And I said, if I'm not using it, I'm gonna take it upstairs. So if I want it, I'll go get it. Well, I was looking at it, and I said, I might use this. <laughs> I drug it back in here. And so that's another thing I have going here. Let's paint this. Whoops. It's just stacked up over there. <laughs> Let's paint this. This is going to be my last thing to do tonight. Pull that plug out of there. And since I put this down with glue, I noticed when I did that other one the other day that some of this paint will crackle if I have wet glue on the back of it. So this might crackle a little. What happens is your glue is still wet. And if you paint over wet glue and let it dry, it will, as the dry glues, it'll crackle. That's a technique. Now, I can see the cracks here. I don't know if you guys can see them, but I'll, I'll rub gold over it like I did that other one. And I'm just going to leave this out on my desk, and I'll come tomorrow or Sunday. <laughs> when I stream at night like this, sometimes it's a whole day before I get back in here and work on this again. I need to catch up with some of the pages, though, if I'm going to do Blue Book January. Today's the 8th. Saturday is the 9th. Sunday is the 10th already. So 
So I really enjoyed the hop today. That was so much fun. It was fun to see all the different things, like the beading and the um, plastic canvas and and all the retro stuff. Uh, silk painting. Janet Nash did silk painting. Uh, Kathy Berg did a retro. I enjoyed Kathy Berg. She did a retro art journaling techniques. And uh, I have to go watch Beth. Beth said that she had a lot of fun in her stream tonight. She posted in our group, our little stream group. So I have to go watch it. I missed it. I was, I was getting links ready, trying to fool around with those stupid links and talking to Leticia. And Ann Lahr did that loaded pocket, flow journal pocket loaded. So just, and Laurie painted that little ceramic angel. So cute. So I got a lot of paint on there. I will rub that off on my, I might have to give this a second coat. We'll see what it looks like when it dries. It, it might crack, crackle. And let's uh, let's get my recollecting journal out behind me. Yep, I got my work cut out for me here in this room. That's for sure. Yeah. Let's put it over here. It's almost dry anyway. Get it off my brush before I put my brush in the water. dry brush. All right. So I'm going to come take a look at chat. I can't get the laptop on my desk here. I'm going to let that dry. So I'm just going to hold it in my hand and we'll say good night to everybody. Do, 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 do. It's 1130 here. Thank you all for coming. Rang Rain de Life Art. Hi, welcome, welcome. You're new to us. Welcome, welcome. Could turn them into pocket pages, folded paper, sheet in between the pattern, side up, shows through, die cut parts on both sides. Oh, concertina. Yes, that's the word I was thinking of. Thank you. Rang de life, is that how I'm is that how you pronounce that? Good night, Rhonda. Thanks for coming. Bless your heart. Lala saying good night. Sheila's here. Oh, Sheila is the one. She said we had some snow in Kentucky today. So you guys are southeast, so we get our weather from the west. So it's kind of cold here. It's in the 30s, but it hasn't, we had snow around Christmas. We haven't had any bad snow since. <laughs> Sheila says, we're going to have to start reminding Mary to eat during these hops. Yeah, I, I didn't eat today, except for I had to go. I was getting hungry. I, I went and popped me some popcorn. Sheila says she's excited to participate. She's talking about the Saturday hop where we do the video. Sheila, Sheila does uh, um, standalone videos. Del Lobo says, hi, Mary and everyone. I'm watching from my TV. So I'm caught up with you guys. I'm going to let you guys go. Uh, thank you for joining us tonight. We had a lot of fun. Um, Tomorrow's Saturday. Uh, I know Beth Schuler is on Saturday night. I don't know if anybody's on during the day tomorrow. I've just kind of lost track of all of that. Um, but Beth Schuler comes on in the evening. Um, Sunday, Tanya McGuire is on. She comes on around noon central. Try to catch Tanya this week. <laughs> and... Um, 
then I'll come on on Sunday evening around six o'clock and we'll work on stuff that I'm doing here. Art journaling and journal covers and postcards and all of that. So I'm going to leave this black <laughs> and I'll probably get my a thumbnail of my jacket from the video for the thumbnail. I had a lot of fun. I hope you all did too. Um, don't forget January 24th is going to be our JB5 stream. That is going to be so fun. And we got a cool one for February in this, in our, our Friday night one coming up too, but I'm not ready to announce it yet. I don't think I've announced it. I can't remember to tell you the truth. All right. Bye everybody. Have a great weekend. I'll see you Sunday night if I don't see you before in one of the chats. Bye.